Who or what is responsible for your cat's personality? How much of a role do mom and dad play with respect to shaping who your cat is today? Does a gentle and sweet cat come from gentle and sweet parents? Are those bad cats the product of bad parents? Are cats simply the product of their environment and parenting and genetics play a very small role in the grand scheme of things? In this material, we will talk about the shaping and molding of the feline personality and who or what is truly responsible. Interesting topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. When it comes to your cat's personality, many feline for that matter, it's really all about genetics, the environment, and the social experience. With respect to certain things being baked in the cake, as they say, the father plays a significant role. The genes of a male cat can determine from the literal start the overall disposition of a feline. In short, male cats that have a calm temperament are largely responsible for producing good cats. Felines with the desire to engage with humans. However, on the flip side, tomcats that are naturally unengaged and rather distant will help to create cats that could take on the very same personality. So when it comes to the temperament of your cat and the role that genetics do play, so much falls at the paws of the male. However, just because genetics are responsible for a cat's personality and general behaviors, at least from the very start of life, that doesn't mean that everything is set in stone and can be manipulated, can be shaped, can be molded. A cat's environment, coupled with socialization, both with humans and other animals, can play a massive role. I think the best way to look at this is to view it all like a blank canvas. Genetics provide the colors to paint. The brushes, those are built in. However, the picture that is ultimately painted, that is mainly left up to external factors. In this regard, cats are a lot like people. Ultimately, this is our game to play and to win, our life to live. We are more than just our genetics when it comes to carving out a happy and successful life. Our parents give us the colors to paint, but the final picture, it goes well beyond what our parents give us. We can either become more or become less. And the factors that go into all of that, well, that's certainly for another time, but cats, just like people, are more than what they were given at birth, for better or worse, and that's certainly a good thing. In short, genetics provide the foundation, the template for your cat's personality, but how a cat is raised, especially those first couple of years of life, and what a cat experiences during that time, ultimately, that will play a vital role in who they become with respect to personality. Cats, like people, can evolve over time, and the longer a cat lives, especially if they are in a loving and positive environment, the genetic foundation they were given will only be but a small part of the feline they've become. Education, training, learning, a positive environment, the love of good people, in the same way that all of that can change the life of a young person, it can also change the life of a young feline. If you are currently the proud owner of a cat, a young cat, only say weeks old, this is a wonderful time to make a difference, to have that positive impact. What you do and how you act, it can have a great influence in shaping your cat's personality and overall development as it relates to positive interactions with you. Cats learn their most valued skills and behaviors in those early weeks and months of life. And while those skills and behaviors can come from a mama cat, and perhaps the litter mates and what they take from your personality, but overall, as a whole, what they do learn from you could decide how they operate within your home, the temperament they have within the environment that you have established under your roof. The objective is to mold your cat into a well-adjusted pet that isn't anxious or fearful. A confident feline that is sure of the basics rather than uncertain and a bit skittish. You don't want those early weeks and months to be filled with negative experiences. The tone setters, you want them to always be positive. Those bad cats, we've all seen them. Cats that just seem to be from another planet, they are so wild. If I had to guess, I'd say 99% of those cats had it rough in the early days. Now, while I do realize that what defines rough can be subjective, I will say there's a good bet that being uncomfortable in their environment coupled with negative social interactions, helped to set a very negative tone. The cat lightly grew up anxious and fearful, lacking confidence, lacking trust, lacking relationships with litter mates and people, perhaps even lacking love from mama cat. 
Cats aren't born wild and crazy, even if the tomcat was very standoffish. To see felines that are just wild-eyed and always looking for a fight, cats aren't born that way. That's shaped and molded. That canvas and those colors. Someone or something helped to paint a very bad picture very early on. If cats grow up in the negative, there's a strong chance they will become the negative. Very hard to handle, and the older they get, without some degree of reshaping and positive attention, the worse it will likely become. When I discuss topics of this nature, the feline personality and who or what is responsible for it, I always come back to the human touch, the difference that we make, the role that we play. Being a source of positive in all aspects, providing our pets with interaction, or all healthy types of interaction, whether that is petting or play, being there as the provider of the essentials, food, water, bedding, clean litter box, being that person that's your cat, my cat, any cat, being that person that a feline can count on each and every day, positive enrichment, both mentally and physically. That's how cats are truly shaped when it comes to personality. I mean, we've all seen it. What happens to a cat that lacks affection and attention, that is unable to play and run around, unable to let those instincts run free? Felines can become bored, anxious, fearful, lethargic, perhaps even very mean and aggressive. Cats that are mentally and physically healthy are, in fact, happier more engaging, more willing to respond in a positive way to the people who care the most. So before I close things out today, cats do get some of their personality from their parents, mainly at least on a surface level, from the father. But in the big picture of life, that's really small potatoes when you consider what a cat can truly become. A feline's environment and social interactions and everything that entails. That journey, especially those first 12 months of life, it can really tell the true story Genetics provide the foundation, the template, but that heartbeat of life and those daily experiences, for good or bad, that's the fuel that makes the engine run, the fuel that will shape a cat's personality. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, how have you positively molded and shaped your cat's personality? Have you had the pleasure of watching your cat change for the better as the years have gone on? Do you have a story where you turned a very problematic cat into a sweet and gentle pet? Your thoughts, opinions, stories, and everything in between. That comment section, as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.